Let's show liver. Liver is one of the simplest machine which has a point which is fixed and then there is a movement around that point. The point which is fixed is known as what? Is known as fulcrum and then you have the load. Load is where the weight is. So load is also called as the weight and then there is the effort. Effort is the force applied. So it is, let's say I am pushing something down, so I am put, putting in effort to push it down and that is what is known as effort. So in liver, we have three terms that we have to understand. I repeat those again. Those are fulcrum, load and effort. Now based on these three, there can be three combinations in which they can be placed. We call this as class 1 liver, class 2 liver and class 3 liver. Let's understand each of these one by one. The very first is the class 1 liver. Class 1 liver is the case where fulcrum is in between the weight and the load. So uh, the load and the effort. So fulcrum is in between the load and the effort. What's a good example? Scissor. So when I'm moving the scissor, what happens? The fulcrum is in between. On one side I'm putting the effort. On the other side where the paper is cutting is the load. So scissor is an example of class 1 liver. Another good example could be wheel and axle. Another good example could be crowbar which I'm pushing with my hand. The next example, the next case is class 2 liver. Class 2 liver is a case where fulcrum is at one of the ends and load is in the center. Now in what case load would be in the center? In the case of bottle opener, the load would be in the center, the fulcrum would be on one of the ends and then you would have effort that would be applied from the other end. So the load is situated in the center in case of class 2 liver. Another good example could be nutcracker, uh, nail clippers, so all of these are class 2 livers. Class 3 liver is an example where effort is in the middle. So in the middle you are providing the effort, at one point is the fulcrum, at other point is the load. What is a good example? A case of fishing rod. In the fishing rod, your effort is in the middle. So at one end is the load where the fishing fish would be um, actually cached and the other uh, caught and the other end is the fulcrum and the effort is being applied in the middle of it. So that's an example of class 3 liver. Another good example is human jaw, uh, bow and arrow. So these are some of the examples where class 3 liver is explained or where we have effort in the middle of the fulcrum and the load. Uh, to summarize again, a liver is one of the simplest machines where you have one center point or the rigid point along which the movement takes place. So three important terms as I previously said, fulcrum, load and effort. Fulcrum is the point where the thing is attached so it is uh, a kind of immovable point and then you have load where the weight is there and the effort where force is applied. So in the case of class 1 liver, the fulcrum is in the between and there is a good example where I say wheel and axle is a good example or using a scissor is a good example. Class 2 liver is a case where I say that load is in between. <clears throat> so when the load is in between, nutcracker is a perfect example. Uh, in the case of class 3 liver, you have effort which is in between. And that's the basic thing that you need to remember. Once you are clear with this concept, uh, the concept of livers become extremely easy, a very, very important and a conceptual understanding here. We will be covering many such interesting topics in the upcoming section. I know that this whole would depend on the load arm and the effort arm. That means how far is the load? So that would be the length of the load arm and how far is the effort that would be the length of the effort arm.